Now, households have been warned that criminals could be using smart devices to spy on people in their homes. Such a creepy story, this. Mm, it comes after a serial sex offender became the first person in the UK to be convicted of using an Alexa to snoop on his victim, prompting safety concerns amongst MPs. Well, joining us now to discuss this is technology journalist Will Guy. Very good morning to you, Will. You see, this is the sort of thing that I've just instinctively felt was always going to come out as a possibility. How on earth? has this worked? What happened in this particular case? How was this man spying on his victim? Let's just start by saying this is a very, very rare edge case. This is the first example of this I've ever heard of. And essentially what's happened here is somebody has had access to a home. They've managed to get access to the Alexa in that home, as in physically being in the home. They've managed to connect that Alexa to their Alexa, and they've been able to listen to what's going on in that home. Now, they've had to get access to the house. I'm not suggesting the other person knew all the time that they were signing that up. But this happens, and the, on these occasions, where this happens, people often link their smart devices, their, their connected devices up to other people's connected devices and forget that when they no longer want them on there, they can remove them. But what this does mean is that there is a growing risk that these devices that are listening to you all the time to get what you're saying in order to uh, play you the latest songs or the latest podcasts or whatever you're using them for, can also hear what else you're doing in your house because it has to. It's essentially the way these things work. They're listening to you all the time in order to wait for you to trigger them. That's devices from all kinds of companies. Now, this isn't a specific security flaw with uh, the Amazon Alexa, which is what it felt like to me the MP was suggesting, but it does highlight the dangers of these connected devices. There's always the risk that somebody else who you might not know still has access to your device or you might not realize has access to your device could potentially be listening to you. Well, can I just read you this statement from Amazon? They've previously said uh, that they're the people who make this, uh, the Alexa devices. Echo and Alexa yeah. devices are designed by default to detect only the sound waves of your chosen wake word and everything else is ignored. All other audio passes through the device until the wake word is caught and sent to Amazon Secure Cloud, uh, where the request is reanalyzed to verify the wake word was spoken. In other words, it's listening to one word or maybe two or three words, but nothing else. Do you believe that? It's tricky because we've had cases where the FBI, for example, in the US have asked for audio and audio from Lexus and other connected devices have now been used in court cases. Um, whether or not it's listening just for that word and how it's processed, I'm afraid you'd have to have an expert from Amazon or from one of the other companies to talk you through that. But what I would say, it's a reminder to anybody, if anybody has a connected device in your room, it has the potential to listen to you. Now, for many people, that's genuinely not a concern because what are they doing in their property. But in this case, and it was a particularly horrific case, the idea that somebody had managed to connect their Alexa, their device to somebody else's and was able to use it long after those two people had stopped having connection with each other, um, was used for terrifying and sort of stalkerish terms. But that's not what everybody uses these devices for. That's the, the most important thing to say here. This is a a horrible but edge case of, of how they're used. And unfortunately, with all these kinds of new kinds of uh, connected technology, uh, things like air tags, which you connect to your keys, I can lose my keys and it's really helpful for me to find them in this mess of my house. But at the same time, other people can use them to, to stalk people. So technology, this all this technology can be used for bad purposes as well as good. It's good that this uh, news has come out today, which means that people can think about who they've got connected to their smart devices and how they're using them. But I don't want everybody to panic. But, OK, aside from the sort of sinister uh, side notes to some of these th this tech, what about the sort of um, corporate cynical misuse of them? I mean, are people listening to us, I say people, organisations to try and sell us stuff, use adverts? And, and because sometimes it feels like you're just discussing a topic and the next thing you know, an yeah. advert pops up on yeah. your TV. Is that our imagination I'm, I'm sure or is that be, happening? I'm sure Amazon and other companies would be very upset about me saying this, but the reason Alexa exists is to sell you more toilet roll. That is essentially why it exists. It's a piece of technology that they've built to sell you more products. It does all these other amazing things, but it's getting data from you all the time. And essentially, it exists to help you order more products from their stores. Uh, the technology is getting better and better. It will be used in more and more applications. But go back to the route that there is a company behind this, and the company has a means and a name and a plan uh, to use your data. Yeah. Uh, well, really good to talk to you. Thank you so much for yes, your time this as morning. Always.